All right, I want to bring in Iowa Senator uh, Joni Ernst joining us here on the set. Senator, good to have you yeah, here. Thank you, um, Thanks, Greta. You know, I, we, we just broke it down. I, people know the details at this point. He's, he's coming. You know, he's still coming here to the convention. Absolutely. He's going to speak. I, I, that, that speech Thursday... I suspect is going to be a powerhouse. Oh, my yeah. goodness. Uh, the the folks here are going to be so fired up right. to receive President Donald J. Trump and nominate him as our candidate and to be the next president of the United States. Of that, I have absolutely no doubt. But the people will give him a hero's welcome. He is a leader and not just any old leader. He is an inspirational leader. You would see others that would shrink away in a moment, such as we saw yesterday. Yesterday. But what we saw was a leader who stood up and reassured the crowd that he was okay. Wasn't that wild? That, is that, was, wild, that was the wildest it, moment I've ever seen. But only Donald J. Trump could do that. Right? I wonder what impact it's going to have. I mean, we, we still don't know who he's going to select as his vice president. Running mate. Maybe he doesn't even know at this point. <laughs> but, I mean, you know, that was going to be the big the reveal. That was right. what we were waiting for. And, and now it's going to be see this yeah. president walking down on stage, whether there's a bandage on his mm -hmm. ear or not. I mean, I mean the, whole, the whole dynamics... Uh, of the uh, of the convention have changed. They have, and that was one thing we thought about. I drove up from Iowa this afternoon, and it was one thing that was rolling through my head is that the dynamics have really changed now. One, we have the loss of uh, the gentleman that was trying to protect his family in, in the shooting yesterday, yeah. and we had an attempted assassination on a former president of the United States, soon to be the candidate from the Republican Party. The mood will have changed here, but this will fire up our base in, in a positive way because President Trump has really taken this. He could have said all kinds of ugly things. He has not. Yeah. Instead, he has inspired in a positive way, not just the Republican base, but probably many independents out there that were on the fence they will see what an extraordinary leader but, Donald Trump but the, is. They, the other thing, too, is that I think that a lot of people have accused him of having fighting words. You know, and he's 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 the vic he's on sure. the receiving end of this. Yeah. You know, and I keep going back to what I started at the top of the show is I I still have not recovered from Senate Majority Leader um, uh, going out in front of the Supreme Court and saying Chuck Schumer and saying we're mm -hmm. coming for you, Gorsuch, we're coming for you, Kavanaugh, and then some guy did show up. I mean, that couldn't have been more provocative to try to go out and hurt two Supreme Court justices. It wasn't just like you know we're going to beat you, we're going to slam you, we're yeah. going to tough you. Those were those were words that were designed to hurt and to and to cause that. They have, the, the, Senator. They have desperate. The desperation to hold on to power leads to, you know, verbiage. That yes. is really, really dangerous in this country. Absolutely. I mean, when, when they when they're clinging to power, and 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 you and I think you, I mean, it's to be fair, you probably see it on both sides. It seems much more visceral on the left because they've never had a figure like Donald Trump shake their world mm -hmm. up the way he has, and they've become so desperate. And I mean, when you watch these political shows, flip on MSNBC for forty five minutes. I mean, just try it sometime. I mean, it's. The way they talk about it, it's like the country's going to end but that's if their, he gets but back but that's into the, power. But that's yeah. their the policy right now, the Democratic Party. I'm anxious to see what they yeah. do at the convention. Their policy isn't what we're going to do for the future. The policy is we're going to protect you from Donald Trump. Exactly. That, I mean, that, right. I mean that, that seems to be what the and policy is. Yeah. You know, and I think most Americans want to know, what are you going to do for me? Yeah. Right. We've heard this rhetoric for eight years now coming from the left. But, uh, Rob, you're right, though. Left and right. We need to tone it down. Mm -hmm. Okay, we can disagree. We can disagree all day, all night. Yeah. But uh, what it comes down to, the left's policies are horrible. Yeah. It's not just Joe Biden. It's the entire policy of the left. Yeah. And we need to bring the, the rhetoric down. Let's focus on what we're going to do for America. Donald Trump but, but the is going discussion, to do that. But the, dis the, the discussion isn't disagreement over policy. No, well, I mean that's. I mean that's no. a fair debate. I mean that's a fair debate that you know certain people want might want to do different things about immigration. Not that's a fair debate, but it has gotten much uglier and mm. much more vicious, and it's us against them. Mm. For your point, Greta, when you can't argue your side's positions, you turn to ugliness and hate. Yeah, well said, Senator. Thank you so much. Thank you. We appreciate it.